My name is Alex Beard, and I'm an artist. I live in New Orleans, and my subject is nature. To find harmony in accord with nature, I paint animals. In doing so, I've spent much of the last 25 years traveling to our planet's last stretches of wilderness to paint the animals I find there and to nurture my soul. But increasingly, what I've seen is man and nature out of balance. And as an artist who observes wildlife, that imbalance has become clear by looking at the animals. There are currently more than 20,000 species on the endangered species list, and the root cause for every single one of them is us. Is there anything that, as an individual, I can actually do about it? For me, I'll start with the wild African elephant. Last year was the largest proportionate kill-off in the history of the ivory trade. If we can't save the elephant, what can we save? So I've come to East Africa to find elephants in the wild, to paint, and to see if there's anything I can do to help save the last of the great Probiscidae. Who's killing them? Why? It's attracted criminal enterprises that deal in drugs, that deal in weapons. Now you're fighting against poachers with top of the line, hardcore, military grade hardware. And you've got traditional methods with a spear and poison all the way through to night vision goggles and high powered rifles. And suppressed weapons. And suppressed weapons. What chance do the elephants stand with that? Mm, not a lot. My great concern is that every generation inherits a poorer earth. What would a world without animals be like? As an artist, what's the point in looking at the big picture if you aren't willing to make your mark, to draw a line? So the elephants are coming across from those hills in this way, and the poachers are coming in from the north and catching them right here. If we were to actually build this outpost, what would the process be? How would we do it? So what can I do to help? The answer to that is in my art. By selling my paintings, I financed an outpost and helped secure the elephant corridor. And for the time being, the poaching there has stopped. Now, does that solve the entire poaching crisis? Obviously not, but it's a start. And if the communities of Northern Kenya can band together to save their elephants and their rhinos, and the process perhaps themselves, why stop there? There must be communities all over the world that we've never heard of who are fighting to save their own wildlife. So while our outpost might seem awfully small, it will help save the lives of real elephants. And it won't seem small to them. Things are going how 